Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. So, so this is my first time filming in 2019 and I think I am going to have a bit of fun with this video. Basically going to be showing you how much of a massive catfish I am. Basically I'm just going to go from like 0 to 100, show you what it takes me to get there. But before I get into that, I just want to say if you aren't already, please be sure to subscribe nearly at a thousand and i've been fucking trying to get there for ages so i'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe thank you anyway moving on to my video so i'm not gonna be doing much tonight but the way that i'm doing this video is like literally taking myself from zero to 100 so i'm in my dressing gown right now i have zero tan on i haven't been tanned okay i have maybe a little bit of tan left over from new year's but like I haven't put tan on in like over a week so the journey going from 0 to 100 definitely starts with tan. I just thought I'd show you like my nighttime routine I guess as well so I've just had a tiny bit of makeup on today and I've just taken it off with my chamomile oil from the body shop and what I'm gonna do now is spray some of this gorge Mario Badescu, can't say his name but anyway. Gross one. It's literally the most refreshing thing ever. I was using a toner water from Lush. And don't get me wrong, I love that. But I just feel like I smell the roses in the rose water. I saw loads of people using it. I saw Jamie Malone using it. I um, James, James Kavanagh used it before. I've seen loads of people rave about it. And it's only a tenor in Urban Outfitters, so... So I spray just some of that on my face and then I'm just going to take my moisturiser by The Ordinary and just put some of that on top of that. This has been my skincare routine kind of at night time for the last while and I do feel like my skin is definitely improving. Like This is still pretty bad from Christmas and like that's always my problem area and I had my period last week so I feel like that's my problem area when I get my period. So, so that's kind of it for now and then I do do one more thing before I like go to sleep but I'll show you that then. So tan time. So the tan that I'm using at the moment is this Sosumi Dripping Gold tan. I do like it but I think it comes off really nasty but I'm, it was 25 euro so I'm just gonna use it until it's gone. Let's see how pale I am. Okay so I'm all tanned and I really just came to the conclusion that I'm gone off this tan so much it just goes on like over another layer. I don't think it goes on that nicely and I feel like with other tans I've had it go on nicely before and like also I took off a layer of tan last week with my cocoa brown fresh start and it didn't take it all off but normally if I applied a different tan on top of that it would go on nicely but oh well we'll tan we're, I said oh well we're tanned I have no reason to tan also um but I just feel like in January January is a month of self-care and self-care for me is tanning because it makes me feel better about myself Especially because just looking in the mirror now, I definitely get way over Christmas. So until I'm skinny, I'm not being pale. So my final thing now before I go to bed, I'm just going to put some of each of these onto my face. So first I'm going to do a bit of my salicylic acid by The Ordinary. And I've been trying not to use this as much lately. But I'm just literally going to put a tiny bit on to that spot and I would normally put some there as well but I did some there last night so I'm trying to only cut it down to like two or three times a week on like trouble areas and actually this one only appeared today so I'm give her some attention so I'll just let that dry for a second while she's drying I'm gonna take my pill because we don't want any unplanned pregnancies in 2019 My final thing is just some of the rose oil from The Ordinary on my hand and then just rub it literally all over my face. I like it to the point where I feel like a seal. That's kind of like my evening part of my transformation so I'll see you in the morning for the rest I guess. Good morning, total bad head right now. It's like half nine. I actually slept in later than I wanted to. I wanted to get up at half eight because I went to sleep at 12. So I slept for nine and a half hours and my eyes all red. I've been taking half sleeping tablet the last two nights just because my sleep, I didn't sleep really at all over Christmas. Um, my sleeping routine was really bad. But I was gonna do a face mask but then I realized all the ones that I have are just like shitty like creamy ones from pennies. What I'm gonna do instead is just some of these nip and fab glycolic exfoliating pads. I still have to shower as well, but um, I'm just gonna start the day with one of these. Phone call in like 20 minutes, the Irish Independent. <laughs> Thing of 
the day. Okay, so I've just, in the last like two hours, um, watched my friend Molly's podcast, which I'm a guest on this week. This is very not in my face, but also look how fucking glowy my skin is um, after using those nip and flap glycolic pads. And like, I don't know if anyone watched my video last week um, from New Year's Eve, this was so much worse. So we're getting there, we're getting there. Bitch just needs to keep drinking water. But yeah, I just watched my friend Molly's podcast. So I would really love if y'all could go watch it. I feel like I go really in depth um, about like my eating disorder and stuff like I've never really gone that in depth with before and my mom's cancer and just a lot of things like that. So I did that, then I had my phone call with the independent and then um, I had breakfast, cleaned my whole house, um, including my room and then I just set up this little space here to film the rest of this video but also um, the independent, there's a photographer coming to my house at like three which is in like two and a half hours so <laughs> The next stage of my transformation is going to the shower, I guess, and going from this hot mess to 10 out of 10. Also, this is like my tan before I shower. It looks very like blotchy and everything. Um, so we'll see how it goes after the shower. Okay, so my tan is looking a lot better. I no longer look like I have some kind of disgusting skin disease so if anyone has used cbd oil to like help them sleep please hit me up and let me know what it's like because my sleeping was like, really bad and that's why i decided to take some sleeping tablets but like i know i can't rely on them because they're not like good for you but i'd be willing to try cbd oil so hit me up i realized i forgot to take my thumbnail so of my before so this is gonna be it Shower done, I no longer smell. Actually, speaking of smelling, I always literally forget. Because I always just put my moisturizer on just straight after the shower, and then it's only when I'm leaving the house. I'm literally like, did I put the other one? The other I use just for my skin is the Dream Cream by Lush. That all over my body, but I didn't want to show you me naked. So, once again, we're taking the Mario Badescu, whatever his name is. Rather than my moisturizer, which I put on after that last night, because I'm putting makeup on today, I am going to use the Madison Primer. My favorite, like I literally love it. It acts kind of more like a moisturizer um, than a primer in my opinion, but I don't mind that because it's stunning um, and it's actually really good for your skin. Like I've definitely noticed a difference in my skin since I've been using it. Like even compared to just a second ago when I didn't have any of that skin stuff on, I feel like it looks so much better. <sighs> So makeup today because I'm just doing like a little, it's not even a photo shoot, I'm literally getting my picture taken. Uh, I'm not going to go full glam, even though I feel like I meant for this video to be like a 0 to 100, but I still am going from like 0 to 100 I think. I don't think you need full heavy makeup to go to 100. I'm just going to do like a subtle, I think I'm probably going to wear pink. I always start with my foundation. I know a lot of people don't, especially because I don't wear brows, I don't start with my brows, but the only thing I actually do do to my brows is just give them a little brush. Like that. My eyes are still so red. What is going on? And then I'm just gonna take my foundation. My water bottle is not beside me, so I'm not gonna wet my beauty blender today. Mivas, please don't come for me. I'm really sorry, but I'm always just way too lazy. But I actually got this really good beauty blender, and I feel like it blends the makeup really good anyway. And I also think when you have that Madison primer on, as well as that rose water, my face is always like moisturized enough that I don't actually need the beauty blender to be wet. Oh my god, my eyes are so red. Also, I feel like I should add, like normally, I mean, if you were going full 0 to 100, I'd be including the fact that I need a wax right now, so I'll probably get one during the week. I shaved my legs like a week ago. They're not too bad, but I guess like maybe some people would include that as like full 0 to 100. I'm just letting you know that I'm getting a wax this week. So I used the Fenty Beauty foundation as well. I used it since I went to America because I got it there, but I just feel like really nice on my skin. I know a lot of people found it kind of too dry, but for me, I think because my skin is combination, anything that's not like a dry foundation, like I just, the oil on my face just sweat it off like next thing i do is take my kat von d concealer I'm gonna go under my eyes which desperately need it today <laughs> The Carter Beauty, upside down, Carter Beauty Contour Stick, and I actually only got this just before Christmas. What I've been doing with this is just putting a bit there, putting a bit there, 
putting some here on my nose and then just taking the other side i'm going a bit really under my eyes I feel like i'm getting wrinkles already which kind of concerns me but hey that's what botox is here for eventually when i need it a little bit here and then it's a bit of the contour on the jawline and then I'm just gonna actually use a brush to blend this out cause it's much it's a much thicker consistency than um like concealer or I don't even know. I'm not a mirror, I'm sorry. <laughs> I always feel when I do anything makeup related, like people who actually are good at makeup must look at me and be like, well, who is this bitch and what is she doing? Because I feel like, like I can do my makeup, but I don't think I'm in any way good at it. I feel like sometimes foundation gets caught in these eyebrows. Just taking my NYX contour palette, just this little angled brush. And then I always do like the darkest shade for the contour on my cheeks. And then it looks like shit bigger brush and just kind of blend it out and then i'll go to a lighter shade just kind of give the top of the take that bigger brush again and take the kind of banana -y shade there. Oh, I hiccuped. Put it under my eye. And that's pretty much my face makeup and highlighter, which I will do when the rest of me is pretty. So then for my eye makeup, I'm just going to do something I kind of always do and keep it real simple. Yeah, so my eye makeup, as I said, I'm just going to keep it kind of simple. This is just kind of more of a daytime look than a full glam. So what I always do as like my simple look, I start basically on my lid with my Kat Von D palette. And I go kind of like a mixture between this like banana e colour and then this like white colour. So I'll just do like a mix on my lid to kind of create like a little base. Don't know why I'm talking as if I know my shit because I absolutely don't. makeup looks like it's actually gonna be a disaster until I'm finished so please sit tight now that I have that little base done I'm just gonna take my very bold palette from Madison again same brand as the primer they're Irish and vegan so go support I'm just gonna go like kind of around where I've done that base I actually hate doing makeup on video because I actually feel like anyone who's good at makeup must be like oh my god please just stop said i'm mixing this scarlet color and berry i think i've definitely done this in a video before but hey so now that that's on with the little angle brush i'm just gonna take this big brush and just blend it like weeks ago as well but I haven't done that because I'm just lazy but I always feel like when they're plucked like makeup goes on so much better but I'm always afraid to go and get them waxed right now while they're bleached because I don't know like I'm just afraid someone will just like be like why are your eyebrows bleached even though I'm sure beauticians see that all the time but like anytime I've gone and got them waxed it's like I get a wax and a tint and I'm just snow snow so not ready for a tint again like even my sisters were saying the other day also I think it's because I'm shit at doing eyebrows so my sisters were like thank god your eyebrows are bleached and I do think it suits me way more but like yeah I just haven't built up the balls to get my eyebrows waxed yet 
while they're bleached. Maybe I'll do it when I'm getting my um, Gucci waxed. Love how I like couldn't think of a word there. I just feel like it's a weird thing to have a word for, you know? Everyone had a word for it when they were a kid, but like everyone's word was so different. Me and my sisters were talking about this recently. Like everyone's word for their fucking vagina as a child was so different. I don't know what I'm gonna tell my kids to call it. <laughs> Um, I always blend my shadows really high as well, but I think because my eyebrows are bleached I can get away with it So I don't really mind but I saw a tweet the other day and some girls like 2019 Can we stop bleaching our or blending our eyeshadow up to our brows? I was like no bitch. No, I just think it brings out my blue eyes Then I think what I'm gonna do is just go into this Mika color in this palette and just put it like kind of in the crease to kind of make the pinky color look a bit deeper in the crease <laughs> And then I am just going to blend that out again. And then I think for like a daytime you kind of look, I'm kind of happy with those eyes. So I think I'll just leave them at that and then just do mascara and I think I will put lashes on. The mascara I use at the moment actually shit. I bought it in the airport on the way to Paris because I was literally just stuck for a mascara and this was like the best kind of ish one I could find. So I think that's why I've been wearing lashes lately. <laughs> Decided I'm not gonna do lashes because this mascara actually didn't turn out too bad. But just to finish off my makeup, I am gonna apply some highlighter. I'm using the Fenty Beauty, the collection is, I think it's the holiday collection. But I use like a mixture of all three of those and then just put a bit on my cheek for a real glowy frosty look. <laughs> Other than my lips, I think that's done, but I always do my lips at the very end of my 0 to 100. Next step in my transformation is my hair, but obviously I wear wigs. I want to look in any way decent. Sorry, I have my mirror behind my camera, like so. Ow! I actually hate brushing my hair, it always just feels so fragile still. Ow! Um, and I only washed it yesterday as well, so it's very silky, which is why I'm not going to glue my wig today. Sorry, I'm looking at my phone. But yeah, what I always do with my wig is I just put my hair in like a V low pony at the back. Or bone, sorry. Like that. And then we of course put the L wig cap on. Good. Okay, I'm not doing this perfectly today. I'm probably just gonna put a hat on with my wig because I'm not arsed with being perfect, but hey, I look like an absolute tom. I actually haven't worn this wig since last week. Me and my friend Clara Arabelle on Instagram, we went out for food and a drink and then ended up sitting in my kitchen till half seven the following morning. So she has not been worn out since then. My wig cap is on, my wig is brushed. And then what I do here, just put the clips on the very tightest because I have a tiny pea head and then it's sometimes still loose because tiny pea head, but yeah. And I actually just went and got my straightener as well because she needed a straightener. I always just put my head in like this and then I dig the clip in at the back. And then just flip all the hair back like that. And, oh. hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. and obviously this is not on properly right now. Pull it back and then I have two little clips at the side here. So I just stick those in there. Obviously she needs a little brush. So normally what I would do also is I use the got to be hairspray just to glue down all of those edges I um, got to be hairspray called glued is what it's called But today I think just because I washed my hair yesterday I don't want to have hairspray around the edge of my hair I'm just not gonna do it today and just wear a hat which I would do if I was going out as well And um, the only time I'd really glue it is if like the hairline is gonna be really visible like on New Year's Eve when I had that pony in like I'm not joking when I say I cried about this wig like five times I'm not joking like I was screaming like a child like I think I was screaming like that because I was having so many breakdowns about this wig not sticking to my head right. I'm just going to give the ends a little straighten because they're gone a bit frizzy. 
I was actually so annoyed. We went out on Stevens's day and I think that was, yeah, that was my second time wearing this wig. There was only like seats in the smoking area. So we just sat up there for like the whole night. It's like a beer garden, well, not just a smoking area. And the next day my wig smelled of smoke and I don't even smoke, I find it disgusting. So that was really not gorge. But I've been spraying it with perfume every day and it seems to be doing the job. So, so yeah, literally just because I'm not really even going out. I'm just, actually I'm not going out. I'm getting a picture taken and then literally I'm taking this full glam off. But I just wanted to make this video as well, so I don't really mind. I'm gonna give it a full straighten. This wig is from Webster Wig. This one, Webster Wigs. This one and my blonde one are both from there. And I don't get me wrong, I love all my other wigs, but I, what I love about these is that the hairline you can kind of do your own thing with. So that was how on New Year's I did the pony in the head. Pony in the head? Pony in the middle of the head. Which is what I think makes them look really natural. Like so many people, like although these are like all my friends that know I wear wigs, but they were literally like, is that a wig? Oh yeah, I was like, yes, it's a wig. But they were all just like, oh, the way the pony is done, it looks so real. So I definitely think the hairline is what makes it look real. And even like now that's not glued to my head, but like it's nice and straight. Like you can see like it looks as natural as a wig is gonna get. So that's my wig. I'm gonna move on to my clothes now. Okay, so I think the look I decided I'm gonna go for. Um, I got sent this gorgeous little pink two piece from Shimmy Shine Clothing. A week ago it arrived in the post so I'm gonna shoot this and then obviously for the paper I think I'll put like something over it because it's a bit like not very like daytime-ish but I want to shoot it for my Instagram anyway so I'm gonna put this on. Okay so I have the little skirt and top on and then I just added my, I'll just show you, just added these shoes. They're from Shoe. Maybe if I turn this way. Yeah, these shoes are from Shoe. But I call them my Balenciaga dupes because I think they're blatantly a Balenciaga copy but they were 20 euro and Balenciagas are 800 so now that I have my outfit and my shoes on I'm just gonna add a few little accessories so first thing tied the Dodge wig for the day I'm just gonna put on this little pink beret I feel like this looks weird on my head but I'm gonna add this pink sparkly belt just because I think a belt even if there's no like belt help, I think a belt always finishes a look I have this little choker which is actually almost the exact same like kind of style as the belt so I love wearing the two together open it I wasn't going to, but I think just because of how low this bando is, I'm gonna add another bit on my face. So I have this one and it just has that tree on it and it's a nice like rose gold color. I think what I'm gonna do is just I'll go over like that. Because it's so long. Oh my gosh, chin. But I always double it anyway. Sorry, necklaces and nails are just not fun together. I'm just gonna pull it down so it comes to about there. Have some earrings. Oh my god, I forgot how bad I am at putting earrings on on camera. Going to the mirror. But I'm pretty much done my look. Um, obviously, as I said though, when I was doing my makeup, the thing I always leave till last is my lips. I'm gonna show you my like lip routine lately. I need to pair this lip liner. I actually don't know how the fuck I'm gonna edit this video. It's so all over the place. I feel like me getting ready or like me transforming myself anyway is always chaotic. So I've given you like a real life chaotic. Although I've been very calm. Like normally I'd be running for a bus or something and having a literal breakdown. I'm gonna do this in the viewfinder so I could fuck it up. This is the Sephora. It's a Sephora lip liner. I got it in Paris because the reason I actually got it in Paris was because um, I forgot to bring a pair to Paris with me. And I was like to Connor, oh, do you know how to pair a pencil with a knife? And then he tried and um, by the way, that sounds really weird that I asked him that, but Connor does art. So like, I thought he would know. And, like he studied, he went to NCAD, did art in college. Like, so I was like, oh, he'll probably know how to pair a pencil with a knife. I just ruined my pencil. So I picked this one up for like four euro or something. And I actually really like it. You don't have to dig too hard into your lips to get it to come out. I'm over drawing these to fuck. Also, I should have put lip balm on at the very start. Hey. And then I normally just do a little bit there and there and there. I already see a big difference. I'm actually out of breath from doing this video. Like, am I okay? Thank God I'm back in the gym. I actually have to take all of this off at, like, later and go to the gym. So on. My Jeffree Star, I think it's Can't Relate. Yeah, Can't Relate. Out of his holiday collection, I think. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking at my room. I'm actually starving. I feel like I'm going to pass out. <laughs> And then I'm 
gonna let that dry for a few minutes. Oh no, my battery's low, of course it is. So I'll turn this off, turn my camera off while that dries. I'm just gonna put this gloss Ooh. over Jeffree Star. Um, the reason I always do this, I just kind of prefer a shiny look lately. I think it makes my lips look juicier, but also I find the Jeffree Star one to be quite dry. Sorry, I look good right now. Yeah, I find it to be a bit dry though, so I feel like this just kind of helps the lip last a bit longer. And I've often put that on, like that lip combination with like very little makeup on, like just mascara and all. And it makes you look like you've way more makeup on than you do, which is lovely because you just look like you've big, luscious, juicy lips. No filler, babe. The final thing I'm adding to this look is this little Zara bag, which I bought. It was only 10 euro, and then I realized it's actually Zara Kids, but who cares? We got a Leo Cunny. So I'm just gonna show you my full transformed look. I don't know. You decide. Am I a catfish? Let me know in the comments. Okay, in all seriousness though, that is the end of this video. I suppose, actually don't let me know in the comments if I'm a catfish because I think I already know I am. Although, I don't really think I am. I think I just wear makeup and wear wig, which obviously makes me look very different, but I still think you can tell it's me. I'm gonna put like a before and after picture. Obviously I'm gonna take actual pictures from my Instagram as well, but I'm gonna put like one the exact same as the one with the same spot and same lighting and everything. So yeah, I suppose I just more tanned and but yeah, so thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's not like weird. I don't know. I just thought I would do it because why not? 2019 content, content, content. Thank you for watching. And if you have enjoyed and you're not already subscribed, please be sure to hit subscribe, like, everything counts. Leave a comment if you want to tell me I'm ugly and I'm actually a catfish and I'll, I'll appreciate it anyway. So yeah, thank you. And I will see you in my next video.